In a previous part of our series, we saw how to install and configure Tailwind CSS within a Laravel project and how to set up a basic blog layout for our demo application. With that base template in place, the fourth part of the series is focused on the backend side of the application. In this recap video, you learn how to create an artisan command in Laravel to import posts from DevTO using their API and how to save the content as markdown files in your local application storage folder. Before moving along, make sure you followed all steps in the first tutorial of the series in order to bootstrap your Laravel application and development environment. This will require that you have Docker, Curl and Git installed on your system. Bring your environment up with sail up minus D so that it runs in the background. The demo application should be available from your browser at localhost. Start by creating a new artisan common using the make common utility. This will create a new file with boilerplate code for an artisan command saved at app console commands. You can call the command import posts. Open the newly created file in your code editor and change the command signature to how you'd like to call the command. This is usually set to two words separated by a column. In this demo, you'll use import colon dev as common signature. The handle method is where the common action happens. This is what will be executed when you run artisan import dev from the command line. DevTO has an API that we can carry to obtain the latest posts from a user without the need to use an authorization token, since that is all public data. The endpoint we want to carry is slash API slash articles with a parameter named username and set to the dev user whose posts we want to import. To make the request, We'll use a small curl library called curly. You'll need to require this library via Composer. With the dependency installed, you can now work on your handle method to 1. Carry for the posts 2. Loop through the results and make a second request to obtain the body markdown of each post and 3. Save that content as a new markdown file using the built-in storage utility only when the post has not been imported before. To facilitate ordering at the file system level, we use a combination of post slug, which is based on the title, and post date. This way, we can list our most recent posts on the main application page. With the implementation finished, you can run Sale Artisan Imports Dev to obtain your latest dev posts. After running the command, check your storage slash app folder and you should see a number of markdown files, each containing a different article. In the next and final part of this series, We'll see how to parse the dev markdown format and exhibit your latest dev posts on the main applications page.